Hail, hail, the gang's all here. Yep, Monday morning. A new year, a new week. A right? new year and a new year resolution. None. Be a freak. <laughs> My resolution history. is no resolution. That sounds very Bruce Lee-ish. <laughs> My spirit is free, baby. I'm free from Satan. You're not Lord Vader anymore. I am a motivator. I'm still a motivator. Wait, now you are Lord Vader again? I'm a motivator. Now he's Princess Leia. He's mo <laughs> a motivator. Motivator, motivator Vader. They'd say that ten times fast. Now, Mark, people have been asking me to film you lift more because you're one of the stronger Delray Misfits. Not anymore. As uh, you know, I hurt my shoulder last year, and uh, I know I could do more weight, but I'm just, I'm trying, I'm babying it. I'm gonna get a little bit healthier before I get back into the real heavy stuff. But I just don't wanna push it right now. You know what it's like. Yes, I do. <laughs> well, I don't know what it's like repping that 20 times, but I know what it's like to have a sore shoulder. It is what it is, getting older, like Jason. Right, Jason? We're all getting older, Jason. Every year, baby. <laughs> I remember when I was 23. Some good old days. No pain, just discomfort. A little bit, you know. Stick with Lots that. Lots of snap, crackle, pop, and joy. You ready? That's life. Now, Jason, we. I have to ask for an elaboration about the whole no more Lord Vader thing. Well, Lord Ma Vader's gone for a while because. Um, I'm on. That was. Uh, Lord Vader was on there. You might want to ask. I'm sorry. I'm the, done. The, the holy man here was on the there. Holy man stuck. What are you going by now? Holy man. The holy man. <laughs> the holy man. That's my new name. Holy man. Right. Holy from God. God to heaven. Oh, are, you are, you are you talking religion? Yes. Fuck's sake. Why all of a sudden what happened? I don't Something changed me. Maybe I'm a changed man. So, so you think there's actually a, a guy up there with, <laughs> with a big white beard hanging out in the clouds waiting for you? <laughs> yeah. The fuck out of here. Yeah. So we're we gonna go on religion now? Yeah. <laughs> religion for the Bible. Fuck that. What do you? Oh, yeah. If there is such thing as that shit. <laughs> Well, you want to go to heaven and play Yahtzee with the fucking Pope? <laughs> yeah! I'd rather go to hell and do blow up the stripper's ass. <laughs> Whoa! My God! You ready? I'm ready, Jason. What did you take this morning? What did you take this morning? Took some angel dust. Angel dust? Yeah. <laughs> I'll get you going. The real angel dust from the 80s? Yeah. That's what you need. Okay. Age. It's joint. It's joint. It's Put that back. How many did you do? Six. Age. How old are you? 31 next year. I'm 37. Age. Me fucking age. What is this? Worn out joints. What the fuck is this? How many did you do? What do you think about that, Jason? Come on. His joints are I more I don't want to hear about fucking age. His joints are more lubricated. <laughs> lubricated? <laughs> <Yes>. Lubricated. Uh, <laughs> he stopped off at Jiffy Lube hey, this morning. I don't use any lube, just a little spit. He <laughs> used some lube, some lubrication, because my joints are cooked. And you got fucking four? Come on. I got You're six. supposed to be like a massive bodybuilder. Come on. I am a massive bodybuilder. Just an old with lots of injuries. We don't care about old injuries. We're freaks. Just what you, old. So what are you making excuses about then? I'm just, I'm just trying to save my joints from disintegrating. <laughs> disintegration. Oh. Just absolute disintegration. This is, yeah, this is the Jason we like. 
But we don't we won't talk about that other thing. Yep. All right, you ready? Disintegration. Hey, by the way, just so you know, I'm, this is all I'm gonna say about it. You cannot be pussy whipped without getting any pussy. Yeah. Okay? So yeah. knock it off. Yeah. Come on, let's do this. In one ear, out the other. <laughs> so Brad, what uh, what supplement or pre-workout are you on this morning, Brad? Actually, I haven't even started drinking it yet, but it's the same bullshit that you take, and the only reason why I'm drinking it is because I paid $35 for this shit, and I don't like throwing away money. But all it is is a little caffeine. I could have bought fucking Monster. It's the same shit. Otherwise, I would dump it all out in the fucking trash. Garbage. You ready? Yeah, I said it. I don't give a fuck. Fuck that nonsense. You know, if it was free, I would have thrown the shit away. Since I paid money for it, I'll drink it. It's like flavored water. It really doesn't do shit anymore. Jason claims it does something, but it doesn't do shit. Yeah, you ready? Go film him lift nothing. Mark, yes. we have got to get Jason listening to Tom Likas. Uh, you need Likas 101. You, you, Jason, you need some Tom Likas in your life, man. For anyone out there. Do you, who's Tom Likas? He's a genius. Who cares? The fucking guy is good, man. I wish I would have listened to him fucking 20 years ago. Amen. Believe me. Believe me. I told my son. My son's old enough. He's going to be listening to him. You bet your ass. That guy knows his shit. He should be listening. To Tom Likas. Stuff. It's yeah. all archived online. Any men between, say, the ages of eight, 18 and 30? Start yeah. earlier. 16. True. 16. Go on YouTube. And this is for everyone out there, all you young men who watch this bullshit. Go on YouTube and type in the name Tom Likas, L-E-Y-K-I-S. He used to host a radio show in a few different cities, Seattle, L.A. Um, he was big in a number. He was number one in a whole bunch of, of giant markets here in the States. And oh, look, at, look at Brad here doing three plates. Nice. Come on. Oh, get it, Brad. Anyway, that's all I'll say. Just You need some Tom Likas 101 in your life, Chief. No question about it. Of course, the feminists don't like him, but he's, he slings a lot of truth. In the really? Right, Jason? Another strike. Huh? Yeah, the fucking industry you want to get involved in is a big fucking scam. You know it. Of course it is. It's corrupt. Of course it is. That's the way it is. You actually took. Okay. This bullshit that I'm drinking, it's fucking, it's got a little caffeine, so it wakes me up a little bit. Like I said, I'll drink it because I paid $35 for that little can of shit. I don't like throwing money away. But also, it's got, if you actually took it to a chemist or whatever to measure exactly how much shit is in it, it you want to fucking kill those people. Well, it's probably just a placebo. You slap a fancy label on it, give it a cool name, exactly. but you're really selling aspirin. Right. And it becomes a placebo effect. You know what it does? It's like, it's like drinking uh, fucking ice cream. To coffee. piggyback on his argument from the last video, if you look, I have a problem with the supplements. When you look at the back of the bottle, they tell you the crap that's in it, and then they have proprietary blend. And they don't fucking tell you what that is. That's bullshit. Shit, garbage. That shit, don't buy any of that crap. It's like when you go and measure how much, you know, how pure your cocaine is when you get it. You know? <laughs> Thank you, Tony Montana. This shit will work to control hormones. Yeah, those do work because they're designer steroids. That's yeah! Cool. <laughs> it's Skittles! <laughs> Got excited, man. Huh? Wonderful. Here comes a fucking goofy laugh. <laughs> they work, baby. Yeah! Come on back here. Don't walk away from the conversation. Designer Mark knows his shit. They used to fucking sell them on Amazon <laughs> until they got banned. All of them, super draw, all that shit. What about deer antler, Chucky? Love that shit, man. I'll go outside and start eating berries off of trees. That was banned in Major League Baseball and the NFL, wasn't it? So it means it works. Ray Lewis was using it, right? It works then, yeah. It works. If they ban shit, it works. It works. <laughs> I say let them all use it. I agree. Who gives a shit?
I mean, if they keep, like HGH, it's not even a performance enhancer. It's a load of shit. And now the UFC it helps recover. Did you guys? Hey, did you see what Alistair Overeem looked like in his fight against Junior Dos Santos? He looked like a balloon that someone stuck a pin in and he was Probably. deflated. He went from 263 to 243 at the weigh-in. Didn't even look like the same body because the UFC started the stricter testing. Let them take everything they want. That's right. And beat the fuck out Leave of each other. That's what I'm saying. Cares. Same with that other Brazilian fighter. What the hell is his even. name? If you allow everybody to take it, take whatever you want, then it's still even. I agree. It's a shit. But the thing with football, if you let these guys take HGH, they'll stay healthier. There won't be as many injuries. The way to play longer. I mean, they won't allow them to take that, but they'll fucking inject cortisone in them. I mean, it doesn't make sense. Well, then they're also all they're all hooked on painkillers yeah, anyway. Yeah, exactly. That's right. It makes no sense. That's, Else. That's actually one of the most under-publicized forms of addiction there is, generally pain, speaking. Yeah. Not even in pro sports, yeah. painkiller well, addiction. Wrestlers die from the pain. The pain. Goes. Damn right. It's a joke. Because they get hooked on the painkillers. It's because the government, the, the government gets involved in everything. It goes to shit. Period. Exactly the fucking same from six months ago, even now. What's the matter? Oh, you saw that he's filming, now you don't want to talk to me. He gets, he's very open when the camera's not rolling. As soon as that camera goes, he like fucking, again with the nipple. Will you put the fucking nipple away already? Well, what did I miss? Huh? What did I miss that was so scintillating? I'm talking about work and car accidents. Yeah. That sounds like a fun conversation. <laughs> <laughs> work and car accidents. Uh, we were talking about, I said, you know, instead of posting silly ass pictures of himself in his car with those stupid, those sunglasses are fucking so dumb. They're so aviated. bro. <laughs> fucking Top Gun. Yeah, I am. Maverick. <laughs> Maverick oh is Maverick, bro. Yeah. Oh. You can be Iceman, Brad. Jesus Christ. You need a Terminator glasses if you're a fucking cyborg. Yeah. Fucking aviators. That's cookie cutter shit. <laughs> By the way, yeah, if you ever, Lenny had a good point when he was talking about with the skinny jeans. Yeah. Wait till he gets here. What was Lenny's point about skinny jeans? The hell did I miss? Come on, Jason, you're set. I did 14, let's go. One more set and I'm done. He actually did a workout today. Oh, he did a good one. Finish up. I did 14, let's go. I could beat that. Hey, Chuck, why don't you blow him while he's doing it? What do we do? Turn it back over again. Somehow I think Chuck will pass on that, Brad. Go. Go. What do you think about that? Oh, I'm glad he did Chuck. it finally. I'm glad he did it finally. Yes, Jennifer. Je Jennifer stop. wants you to stop yeah. smashing the no machinery, smash Jason. Can't control the weight. Jennifer, he needs a spanking. Actually, I need a spanking too. Yeah. Jennifer, we all need a spanking. I told him. I understand with the free weights, but that, no. I'm not breaking the machine. Done. Hello, Mr. Nipple. I don't know why you waste your time. Just trying to grow my channel. Yeah, but you can do it without competing. Well, it's competing is bullshit. When I, get, when I do when I do competition, when I do competition. You don't I make get, any money off that. Not, yeah, I do. I make, I make, I get 300 subscribers every show I do. Yeah, I'm not lying, bro. 300, that's worth it to you? That's worth it. It makes a difference on both. You know what'll really make it worth it? Placing and winning. That'll make it worth it. Not just not just competing. You take enough shit Placing. To get the size, you just gotta work out properly. That's all. You know that. Well, I gotta concentrate more, and I gotta focus on focus. So I gotta harness myself. Harness yourself? Yeah. Like a fucking horse? No, I gotta focus. I have focusing problems. Well, no shit. Well, Jason, you know we're all, in all. And this is some real talk, you know we're all here to help you if you ever have problems with the focusing. Yeah. You know that. Including this schmuck right here. Male prick. Oh, it's called, uh, 
constructive criticism or you know he, he likes it though it, he, he's got the other we're not going to talk about it because you'll have to fucking edit it out he's going to get butt hurt if i fucking talk about you know somebody else filling his mind with that, 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 that. <laughs> That'll be fine. Not any AM. Constructive criticism. Oh, We're all here shit. to help you. Video posting. What? Night. He's, he's like that Kobayashi dude. He just shovels the goddamn food in his mouth. Nate, Nate, I don't know how the hell you do it, man. <laughs> it's insane. Nate, I don't know how the hell you have avoided me. And I hear some of you millions of misfit <laughs> maniacs have been posting things like Lenny's lazy and Lenny's soft. Does this look soft to you? Oh, for Christ's sake. Does this look soft to you? 3.30. Does that look soft? Huh? Does that look soft? See how soft this is. Where are you gutless challengers at? Does this look soft? Bigger than ever. And it's growing. Real fucking soft and lazy, huh? 3.30. I didn't put on an ounce of fat. What's your goal? What are you going up to? 700 pounds ripped. <laughs> That's and by it? the way, I heard Brad went to see Star Wars, and unbeknownst to him, somebody that I know that goes to this gym was sitting two rows behind him. Brad screaming and carrying on like a little girl. Woo, you know, with all the woos and the wahs, and this is cool. Then he starts breaking out his lightsaber, waving it around the theater. Then he was heard he's telling people that. He didn't drink or eat for like three hours before so he doesn't have to go to the bathroom. And when they were walking out of the film, when they were walking out of the theater, this guy was too, I guess, stayed a few feet behind him. He said that Brad said out loud, when they, the first appearance of the Millennium Falcon, I almost pissed my pants. And then he was saying it's gonna take him weeks to figure out all the revelations of this movie. Brad, you cookie cutter, what the hell is wrong with you? Waving a lightsaber around in a movie theater. Well, Brad's delivering mail right now, so he can't respond. Does he have his lightsaber on him, you little freak? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just stepped on your Donald Trump shirt accidentally. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you see what we've missed for the last month or so? Yeah, this is a rather unexpected surprise this morning, Where's Leonard. Where's Mr. Star Wars cookie cutter Brad at? Bradolf Schittler. <laughs> what are you looking at? You want some here? Arnold presses 120 pound dumbbells. Who's this? James Harrison. He should get in the bodybuilding the human time. I think he's going to. He's got a lot. He's, a, he's uh, sponsored by Optimum EFX Nutrition. He's got that look if he just. Get, you know, got completely. And his divided. lifting is up there with Branch Warren and Bill Kazmaier and Dorian Yates. A real intense style lifting. He was he about 34, 35? 37 is your age. Yeah. Which we were you're 18 forever, according to. <laughs> only in mind only. Yeah. So this year, folks, I guarantee a 300-pound contest stage. Right? Yeah. Guarantee it. The Ruby. <laughs> sure. Why not? That is your show, after that all. Is. The Ruby. Yes. Change it to the Lenny Classic. <laughs> or the Knuckles Deep Jason Classic. <laughs> I just heard that story. That's funny. Oh, you only just heard that one? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I filled Lenny in. Lenny doesn't have a computer. and okay. I do. I use it at work. Porn-free computer. Those Unlike all you masturbatory maniacs out there. <laughs> and when I say millions of viewers, you people laugh. You don't understand in those third world countries, some of them have a little phone or a little shitty computer, and there's 500 people looking at the misfits. So, you know, you got to add all that up, and that's where I get the million viewers at. We're big in Syria, I hear. Yeah. Big in Syria and Iraq. <laughs> that's fantastic. <laughs> ISIS is watching the misfits. Probably. That's great. Maybe you know, you when, when, they ISIS. Did, when ISIS destroys America, they'll spare Delray Beach. <laughs> I think ISIS has a bunch of closet porn addicts who I could do my own jihad. I'm going to find out who's looking at what, and I'm going to go over there and then dish out some punishment. We're going to get a group together one day myself. Mercenaries? Yeah, you hypocritical porn addicts over there. You're not fooling anybody with your high moral standards. Where's Wonder Woman Jay Masters at with the Wonder Woman outfit and the old man New Balance tennis shoes? Uh-oh, I think I missed that one. Yeah. <laughs> he comes in there and dresses like Wonder Woman. Well, guess what, Jay? I'm bigger than you now. I'm going to be stronger than you. 
and does Jay still even lift? I don't know what's going on with him. I, I haven't seen him here in months. Yeah, I see him sparingly, but is he coming in the afternoons? Yeah, but is he even coming here for the, in the mornings anymore? No. What happened? He's intimidated by the maniacs and their comments. You can't take the comments, Jay. Boo hoo hoo. Well, too bad. Todd too. I haven't seen Todd yeah. here in over a month. Another one. He says uh, the rumor is he's taken off because of a shoulder problem. I think he committed suicide because nobody out there likes him. <laughs> Who the fuck cares if somebody likes you? You eat, you lift, you sleep. If you're lucky enough, you can jerk off. Some of us can't. 330 pounds with veins and a horseshoe. Look at that. 330. Huh? Anybody want to send a comparable picture in? Dale Chance, whatever his name was, her name. How tall are you, Dale? If you're 280 at your height with veins, send in a picture. But I highly doubt. Look at that muscle maturity. 280, 330, 330. Should we go to the scare real quick? Sure, why not? Because they don't believe it. And you guys can look at my freaky back. And it's not 3.30, I'm going to bash this up with my skull. Look at that. Boy, am I right on the head. Look at that. What's it say? It says 3.30. Can they no, read out there? It says 3.32. 3.32 with this. Huh? Send this picture to Phil Heath. 3.32. As you idiots can see, that's what happens when you lose muscle. And I technically don't have a guru coach. What's so funny over there? How dare you mock me when I'm... I know I'm faster than you. <laughs> I smell shit. <laughs> look at that fucking... Look at that! Take a picture. What the fuck is that? What the fuck? Did you just eat five pounds of pasta for breakfast or something? I really don't want to film this. A pound of beef? Wow! Is that, your dick is on the floor! Holy <laughs> shit, I want to see it! Fucking <laughs> fetish factory! Oh yeah! The cockasaurus is out, buddy! Woo! That's the most obscene thing I've ever heard in my life! Hey, I heard you were taking a shit, so I had to come in and see. Oh my god, yep. look at this guy. Yep, I wanted to see it. Well, I wanted to... A fucking Michi a Michigan people. turd in the fucking toilet. People in here know what you're into now, Mr. Ohio State. Well, I'm surprised you're not going to just stick your hand in the toilet and fucking chew a little bit of it. Like some chew. Tobacco. Uh, yeah, that's about as much of the smell I can tolerate, folks. Sorry. I feel my nose hair is burning. Mr. Ohio State enjoys it. Ha <laughs> ha